the pass inside. Sonato. And one. Absolutely. And because of her attitude, not her statistics, she has the guts to pull a shot like that in the clutch. Right straight on. Caitlin Clark said, it's been fun getting to compete against her. All heroes need villains, right? If so, Angel Reese got the memo and brilliantly played a villain in her maiden WNBA season. Caitlin Clark, her opponent, is the hero, but this plot is showing the villain's side. These two have dominated college basketball for the past two years, thanks in large part to their spectacular March Madness tournament bouts albeit Clark has seen most of the limelight due to her scoring skills. Both athletes dominated college football differently. Clark did it with her offense, and Reese's rebounding and defense helped. Their rivalry appears to be ongoing now that they're both WNBA rising stars. Both players had to adjust to physical adjustments in the pros. The key difference is that Reese has become an enforcer, while Clark needs to learn to handle them. The 2024 WNBA season has seen both players fight multiple times, bringing their careers together again. Even though their efficiency hasn't caught up, Clark and Reese have had a big influence on their team since being picked first and seventh overall in the 2024 WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever and Chicago Sky, respectively. Clark possesses exceptional three-point shooting and all-around skills, while Reese is one of the league's greatest rebounders. After their 2023 NCAA championship game clash, many fans worldwide saw Reese threaten Clark in the last seconds, casting him as a villain. Clark said she was fine with Reese's conduct, saying in future press conferences and media appearances that both players were closer than the media presented them. In late March, Reese said that the two players become ultra-competitive when they go on the court, causing ESPN senior writer Andrea Adelson to report on their connection before their Elite Eight matchup in the 2024 March Madness Tournament. I don't think people realize it's not personal. People probably assume we dislike each other. Caitlin Clark and I don't detest each other. Everyone should realize that. A very competitive game. Between those lines, no pals. Angel Reese. How Clark and Reese's complicated relationship turned pro. Though both players deny harsh sentiments, emotions pour onto the floor when they square off. Katie Clark. In their short WNBA careers, Clark and Reese have faced off twice. Clark's fever have won the first two games against the Sky this season, with drama in both. Clark scored 11 points on 36.4% shooting in a 71-70 win against the Sky in their first encounter on June 1. However, Chicago's Chindi Carter slammed Clark to the floor from behind, sparking social media outrage. Reese celebrated with Carter afterward, supporting her colleague. On June 16, when the Sky and Fever competed again, Reese shot Clark in the head as she lay up. After the play, the sports world labeled Reese's behavior as jealous, as many other WNBA players have done owing of Clark's early superstar status. Reese, wearing bespoke, Joker-themed sneakers with Batman villain references everywhere, was ready to escalate on-court tensions between the two players. After the game, Clark reiterated her praise for Reese and her career in the news conference. On Twitter slash X, Minnesota videographer Van Shea Murdoch shared Clark's praise for Reese. She has done amazing things with her platform. She's a great player, and I've played her for years. Competing against Angel is great. I think the game has benefited. Kate Clark. After how she's been treated on the court, many may question why Clark has been so respectful to Reese, but Clark knows that a competition is good for sports especially in a league attempting to attain global appeal. As competitors, they admire one other's work, acknowledging they each contributed to basketball in different ways. Both players knew that to succeed, they required a respectable opponent. Both players have helped advance women's basketball by staying in the spotlight.